It's special time, so let's do it. Yes, folks, we all know it is that time of year again. Uh, spring, summer 24, Adidas Special drop dropping next week. Anyway, welcome back to Next With Me, Danny. Um, just a little bit of a heads up, I will be doing a video every single day this week, Monday to Friday, on the shoes that are dropping uh, in this year's Spring Summer 24 Special Drop. The reason I'm doing five is because, well, you'll see just how I'm going to put them together. So today we've got a, a, a shoe, but I'm going to put the sliders in with a different shoe, and I'm going to put the two gazelles together, and then that just does that nice does Monday to Friday. Do you know what I mean? So that's the way we're going to do it. Anyway, uh, first up in the drop, we have got the Handball Pro Special. So unless you've been living under a rock or you don't have Instagram or I don't even know what, you will have seen that Gary has dropped the hang tag Gary Watson images of all the shoes last week for the Special range. And the first one was the Handball Pro. So I thought, why not follow the same kind of order? Uh, and, and I'll dig these ones out first, so here we go. Here we go. Check these bad boys out. Handball Pro SP ZL. Now, like I said, Gary's put a full explanation in the thing, so I'm not just going to completely copy it, but he did say these are from a vintage pair of handball. I think they said they're some sort of professional player, maybe a special edition or something like that that they were based on. And then obviously, like they always do, the Special Team rework it, remodel it, and make it into something that is more appropriate for 2024. But before I get on to the actual shoe, right, what we're seeing about the new hang tag, the the 10 year celebration, 2014 till 2024. I just think that's an amazing little touch. So yeah, like I said, Gary uh, has reworked these. Like a lot of handball speciales, have the Tito and obviously this one doesn't. So I'll show you some of the details. So it's got, on the toe box, I really like this. It's like a hard wearing mesh. And that's the light blue color that runs all the way through the shoe um, on there. And then you've got like suede overlays around the toe, uh, on the eye stay, all the way up here, uh, and around the back as well. This is all suede. Like it's not like the really, really plush kind of, it does move a little bit, but it's not like that suede that brushes. Uh, and then you've got, I know there was some discussion about the stripes, so you've got some leather stripes, serrated edge ones, not uh, outlined, like Gary said he did think about. Onto the tongue, you've got, now I love these little details, so in the tongue in here, you've got the punched holes, okay, because that's, uh, that's what they came with uh, on the original one, and then the, the label. I just think the label's getting better over time. I love this label on here with the Special logo, obviously the trefoil uh, and all that jazz on the heel as well. You've got the Special logo. Um, the other thing I really, really like, I'll try and see if the camera will pick this up. Uh, like on the last drop, you do get the Spring 24, obviously in different uh, languages as well, on the inside. Because one thing, one thing I not struggle with, because it don't bother me too much, right? But because when you've got so many of the Special shoes, I always forget which range they come from. Like, is that a Spring Summer 17 or is that an Autumn Winter 19? I can't quite remember. So those little tags, I just think are just a, such a good detail for like the collectors. On the other shoe, okay, we did look at the, uh, the heel tabs. You do get a trefoil. Uh, to complement, and again, I think we first saw this on the LG2, uh, no, the LG Special, and I just think it's such a good touch to have it all the way through. Other things, because there is a few more bits in here, you get a lace swap, so you do get uh, a blue lace on there, and also you do get a white lace as well. Now, I'm actually going to quickly flip the white lace in. 
and with some magic of editing obviously it's gone to the white so I really like it with the white in fact they're not white they're like and it's like a very slight off-white actually so is so is the leather they do look very white but when you put white next to it you actually see it's just it's not cream it's just a very slight off-white look um, myself I just think I think the white laces look the best I think the blue laces look a little bit lost white to match the uh, the stripes for me um, the dark blue look cool as well but I think this is the way I'm going for size wise because I know this is why a lot of people come into it so I've got the whole range in my usual Adidas sizing um, which is a UK 8 these are an 8 and let's just these fit so these are true to size maybe slightly on the snug side for me um, but I wouldn't be going up. They're quite a wide fitting actually. Um, so some, I know some special trainers uh, fit a little bit smaller, you have to go up. I would go my true to size. That's the first time I've actually slid them on by the way, because I've just been so busy with things. And yeah, price wise, so here's the funny thing. Though I don't have any prices at the time I'm recording this, so I can't say how much things are costing uh, because I've kind of got the range a little bit early to get the content out, so which is, uh, a massive thanks to the sh uh, to the guys at Adidas. Um, is, instead of like it having it be a bit of a rush, I've got a bit of time to do some things with this. Um, but there's no prices, and I can't pull them off like end or anything like that because there's just nothing up yet. But what I would say is, I just think these are absolutely superb. I am not a dark blue navy, and I say this to a lot of people like when they go like um, Dublin. I know Dublin's not too dark, um, but like. Berlins and things like that and, and dark blue shoes. I don't really do it, but I think the blue, the light blue complements it so well you can kind of wear this wherever. And like a lot of you guys know and girls, I'm not strict casual, I'm not strict denim and blah blah blah. I like to wear cargoes. And these fit perfectly in with a cargo as well. So these, 100%, I, uh, I will be getting these and rocking these and, and, and loving them for years to come. I have heard a few people say, oh, the 10th anniversary, blah, blah, blah. Don't forget, autumn winter, 20, uh, autumn, winter 24 is technically the 10th. I do like they're doing the 10 on here, and I don't have it, but I like the 10-year anniversary T-shirt that's coming out and things like that. And there'll be a lot more to do with the clothing uh, coming out later, I'm sure, uh, so we can see it a bit better than just the, the product shots on white backgrounds, if you get what I mean. So, yeah, that's the Handball Pro really really strong start uh, for this year's uh, spring summer 24 i just think i could i'll be wearing these an awful lot they'll just probably not go back in the box to be honest because they're just easy to throw on like i say i know i didn't say this all the time go with cargos jeans shorts long socks no so no show socks the whole shebang you can wear these all summer and even like into autumn, do you know, maybe I won't be rocking them through winter with the suede, but these kind of all year round perfect shoe. So yeah, that's it, Handball Pro. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think uh, down below. Let me know about the lace flips. Do you think it's the white lace? Do you think it's the dark blue lace? Or, or do you think the, the, the light blue lace works best? Um, let me know. Actually, I just like the white because it ties in with the heel tab, ties in with the stripes and things like that. So yeah. One down, four to go uh, for the videos. Um, so that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, blah, blah. See you next time in the annex. Bye.